Welcome back to Let's Play Grim Fandango. <laughs> My arm. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Well, at least I can play this point and click, so I don't need my left arm. I but can't how, run, though. Yeah, how are you gonna run? Can I just go flap, flap, flap? Thank God you tensed <laughs> up your hand, because that would have been awkward. Okay, so last time we collected a, a lot of things. Let's see. We pretty much collected everything we need but the CB tool, yeah. which we need Galatas for. Yeah, Naranj is not showing up. He's so we got that taken care of. We got a union <laughs> card. <laughs> We've ruined Naranja's poor life. We've got a union card, so that's taken care of. With the CB equipment isn't going to be used anytime soon, so all we have to do is get Glottis to pick it up. Yeah, but Glottis is drinking and watching cats. Yeah, all we so have to do now is... basically he's turned into the internet. Yeah. So all we have to do now is get Glottis to leave. Which is hilarious, because he is essentially in a place near Tumblr, so... <laughs> Rubicava is apparently the afterworld equivalent of the internet. And since... The only reason... We're not going to be able to get him out of there on our own. And as was mentioned last episode, Glottis has a... St the reason he's not going to be leaving is because he has a stake in our casino. So the and only so real way to get him out is... His credit extends to everything, so the only way to do it is to... Get our casino shut down. Yeah, kind of lose this place somehow. How are you doing back there? Which would Evening, suck, Luke. because we're putting so many people out of work. Yeah. Hi, I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, back to work. Okay. She's full of piss and vinegar, but without the piss. Okay, let's see if I can figure out where they want me to click for this. We. We. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm a skeleton. <laughs> okay, so if we want our casino shut down, we should probably talk to this guy over here. He is the police chief in this almost police chief Bogan, something Rubacava's place. finest. Rubacava's only, for that matter. Um, this is actually a minor continuity error, I guess you could say, in that a couple times Manny refers to him as being the only police officer. But later on, we see other police officers. Mm. You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Well, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to put a stop to that luck streak. I guess. I mean, we need to tick him off somehow. France sucks! <laughs> well, apparently if your glitch hadn't done that, I would've pissed him off by telling them that France sucks. And you may recall, we've got an interesting little device here. I think you showed us at the very beginning of the chapter. Okay, so you can see the light down here is which table he is currently the being run. So this one, I believe that's the one, is the one that he's on. So. so we just have to hit the button to mess up our marble. As soon as it gets around him. Ladies and gentlemen, Hard to operate, I guess. I think I left my head either. I thought you could hit the button there. Can you just click over to it? I don't know. No, I can't. Then hit operate, I guess. Well, operate, I think, is going to have... switched over. Yeah, operate is going to do that. Because he's rotating around very quickly, table to table. Le numéro gagnant, le 24. That's the Noir, second time it's popped up. <laughs> 24, black, house pays all winners, le bank paye. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. There we go. All okay, right, and... Fourteen. Fourteen is the winner. Le 14. Numero 14 est le gagnant. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it! That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, that 
back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they gonna close it for? Ah, huh. yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt and bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. And I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time. I promise. <laughs> Manny becoming a captain of a ship. I believe that as much as Dio achieving his plans and becoming descended heaven, Dio. Oh, crap. Captain. Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware. And viva la revolución! Oh, well, crap. Uh, that's that's pretty much exactly what we did. Yeah. Um, um, also, nice nod back to year one when you investigate that ship, and he says, like, would I be better on a ship? Oh, uh, given picture, how yeah, yeah, given how competitive I am, I probably wouldn't stop until I was captain. And now I'm captain. And Gladys did a heck of a job on this ship, let me tell you. <laughs> How did he find all the parts? I don't even know. But we're a captain now. Yay. Oh, can I go down here? Oh, no, I'm just going to go around that way. Oh, I can go over here. What's this? It's one of the... Uh... Hey, Gladys was right. These do look better chromed. <laughs> I actually don't know what those are, specifically what they're called. Can you? Hello, crew. <laughs> hmm. They know I hate it when they ignore me. <laughs> I, f I guess that's what they're supposed to be used for. No, yet. I'm sure it's not. Or, I don't know what. Or are. some way to circulate. Oh. oh shit. Well, this is tragic. Ensign Arnold was just a kid. Oh no. Well, that's a way to endure yourself to somebody. Sprout his entire fucking crew. I yeah, think I, <laughs> I think I want somebody's head on a pike. How about you? Yeah. So that, this can't be happening. So that every morning when I wake hey, up and come out into his garden, I can wait. Oh no! Him. Custom officials, open this door. Yeah, we want to check your bags. I'm sure Don't worry, you do. Captain, we're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> his face. I can't tell if he's worried or trying to hide his worry from Manny. Come on, I want to talk to him. <laughs> I 
think he's having a panic attack. You may need to give him a moment. No, you can talk to him, but, like, I don't know why it's... Mm. Why do you want to walk over there, Manny? Just friggin' talk to Galanis! I don't know what you're doing, Manny. Whatever. That's the throttle for the port side engine. That's the throttle for the port side engine. That's a chain. Looks like the anchor's down. Well, would be you're in port. Looks like the anchor's down. Can I talk to you now? No. No. That's the port anchor control. That's the starboard anchor control. Well, we'd get a lot more framing as to what's going on here if we could actually talk to Gladys instead of ram my face into a wall. Really? Anywhere? <sighs> Anywhere? So, yeah, okay, I apologize for that. But yeah, you'd get a lot more framing if not for that. Mm. So, that's kind of crap. Come on, Gladys. I want to go outside. You're not going outside. What the crap do you walk over there for? You're going outside about as much as you're going to talk to Galatis. That's an engine. Talk to the engine. Maybe it'll talk as Galatis. That's the throttle for the port side engine. Let's use it. Try that again. Pure excitement. Okay, we're doing a whole lot of not much. Go forward. Well, the anchors are down. You're not going to be moving. Go left. Once again, anchors. Oh, we're moving. Oh. We moved. <gasps> okay, so what we had to do... Nope. So what we have to do here, because they actually have us tethered to. It's not just that the anchors are down. They're stopping the ship from going anywhere. Yeah, I saw it tied down yeah. on the board. Which you'd also... Ship. Yeah, which you'd also learn more about if I could talk to Gladys. So you saw how far out this anchor was. So I'm gonna raise that anchor up. I'm gonna lower it back down. Because if you recall with the, when we were messing with these, since the ship was way far off to one side, the two, the anchor on the left side was like arced way underneath the ship. Yeah. Since we raised this one up and then put it right back down, we put it back down almost on top of where the left anchor was. So now I'm going to raise this anchor. And we've caught an anchor. Awesome. It's the worst Pokemon ever, though. This is the only thing we have, because apparently we keep, just keep putting our inventory elsewhere. Gotta reel it in somehow. Give me a second. And give me a second. Gotta scope it out first, see what and... we're in for. Oh. Don't have to move it too much, just have to kind of point it this way a little. Well, there you go. That should help it. How about you, Gladys? You ready to talk yet? Nope, still scared. You ready to say anything? It's great, too. Because, like, you talk to him, not only does he give you framing, a little more framing for what's going on, but I remember one of the things you say is, um... It's like, hey, Gladys, do something! And he just goes, okay. Ah! Gladys is a... Gladys is a gift. He is a gift upon humanity. Okay, so what do you suppose happens if we reel this anchor in while it's connected over here? Can opener. Gladys, cover your ears. I guess I'll start <laughs> talking now, Manny. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. I'll try talking to him. Dang it. <laughs> Talk to the engine. Well, n given now that we've separated most of the ship from most of the ship... Well, you could click on the engine, can't you? Híjole. 
Gladys sure did a number on that old diesel. If it were just a little more powerful, we could probably tear on out of here. I tried. Oh, I tried. But I failed. It's not powerful enough. Hey, maintain, sailor. I'll try using it. I think the best way to use this engine would be the controls over there, as opposed to the hands-on method. Well, at least you got dialogue from Gladys. Yeah. All right, well... If we were maybe a little more powerful, well, how about if we had less boat? Nah, eh, half boat, more powerful, all engine. Better get the Wawa machine. Wawa. And he named the boat Lola. Nope, that's all we got. We we still only have half a boat. And sadly, apparently, shares the fame the same fate as her. Life is cruel sometimes. Yeah. Now, given that we were told, um, given that we were told where the um. Choking! Mira, snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say, you don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. What is that light off in the distance? And suddenly he's just sort of okay with that. Yeah, what were you gonna say? Um, I forget what I was gonna say. Oh, I think we got a note from, um... Salvador. Salvador. And I think that told us what happened to... Meche. Oh, what Meche. happened to Meche? Oh. As soon as I get the chance, I'll check the little thing in my inventory, see if that says anything else. Oh, well, it wasn't what the pigeon said, that she just jumps ship beforehand? Yeah. yeah. So he knew where to go. Yeah. Sort of. Not blue yet. You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny. Not of the sea. Hang in there, Manu. But there's land in the sea. Huh? 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 That's what if I go out here? Beware! Brave captain, here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself. All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land void. Huh? What are we gonna do? Open up the Midnight Society? Here comes one now. <laughs> uh, Hi there. Hey. Hi. Well, he looks like he's been down here a long time. Okay, that might not have been a sea monster, but it was pretty spooky. What's this over here? What is that over there? According to our map, I think that's the pearl. Oh, that's what we're going for. Let's grab it. Can't. We gotta wait for the guy. But I want to grab it now. Ah, uh, we're gonna be waiting for a while. He's gonna walk this whole loop around because I didn't stop him. Chipmunk time. That's our destination, though. It's a very nice light. According oh. to our map, I think that's the oh. pearl. Hey, you. Hey, you. Amigo. Hey, I'm talking to you. Well, he's gone forever. We're stuck. Game Man, over. get back here. Crap up. There he is. Amigo. 
Oh, thank Ooh. heavens. Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Uh, help? Um... Could you take us to the Pearl? Ha! You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Yeah, I can. It's, walked it's this ocean right... For years. I ain't never seen it. You walked past it a couple times. Yeah, you were, like, over there. No, really. The pearl is right over there. Right. You poor sucker. That's the moon. Can't see the moon. Yeah, we were at the bottom of the ocean. Way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. For a second. Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Well, that's convenient. Wait yeah, that it. is very nice of him. What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Figured I'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> you would have had a better sense of direction than him. Probably. How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. What but moon is he talking about? The book. That moon. So he's just freaking walking circles around the pearl. Mm. How about if you walk towards the moon? Well, no, eventually I guess it would be over your head. Yeah. But like, the moon moves too. You can't rely on that. Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. <laughs> Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. Yeah, we so, did actually make it to the other side, too. We had to turn around. Yeah. So, fun, uh, let's do a little homework for everyone. Say you could travel the Atlantic Ocean from whatever part of the continent from the side of Europe and uh, Africa and that to whatever American continent you wanted. How long would it take to traverse that? See, I actually did a little bit of math back in year one to figure out how long would it actually take somebody to walk from El Mero to Rubicaba. I saw that. And it was like 23 days. So, considering it took Meche a year, something went wrong. How long would it take him to have walked there? Yeah. Probably less than a year. <laughs> well, I kind of mean just the bottom of the ocean here. Though, granted, I can't exactly give precise... That's why I'm saying for our ocean here, What's because... What's the problem with boats? We, we don't know the distance nice from where boat. we're supposed to be why going here. That was a very nice boat we had. Boats. You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We'd started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. And this is why I do not like going out on the ocean. Hmm. What happened in the end? What happened was I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, never, ever go to sleep. <laughs> all right. Yeah. How have you kept that light going all these years? Well, I found this coral, this glow-in-the-dark coral. Damnedest thing. Glows like a lightning bug and never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I don't so think that you was had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. 
That is where that coral came from, isn't it? That the, we the used for a grappling hook? That was Domino's trophy? Yeah. The little award? Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let Apparently, it shine. Apparently this is the sailor version of that little hand. No. <laughs> I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Scare away sea, sea monsters, monsters yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I can just imagine partway through Manny just plugs up his non existent ears. Like, Manny's not singing along. I'm not gonna let you touch it, no, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it, no, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You know, I, I know we've gone through a lot in this game, but this has got to be one of the weirdest sections I've seen. Yeah, this is, uh... This is not where I expected to end up. Not really, let's no. just Let's just put it that way. We could have gone to a lot of places. <laughs> this wasn't... This wasn't exactly it. Yeah, I did not expect underwater to happen. I thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like you was going in circles. Well, this isn't no, the I'm kind of No, I'm pretty sure you were just actually going well, in a circle. The wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? Bah. Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine. That was a brick. That was a literal brick. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Hey, lay off. Let go. Let go. Let go. Get your own lamp, pal. Whatever happened to the code of the sea? Gladys, you didn't help me out. <laughs> Not a very good friend. Now we gotta wait again. <laughs> At this point, we might as well next time it. Yeah, you know what? Um, probably for the best. Until next time, everybody. This guy's gonna walk for a little while. Gladys isn't being a bro. So that'll happen next time. Uh, probably a good time to cut it as well. I don't know how many of these rotations we've cut out at this point. Until then, everyone. <laughs>